the Nike Dunk Low I thought I will never get a chance to review on my channel. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy I am and this is I am Sneakers. Good day sneakerheads and thank you again for stopping by and if you're passionate about sneakers, if you love sneakers or if you have interests about sneakers, you are on the right channel and if you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when i drop a new video and you can also find me outside youtube all my social links should be included in the description of this video and please do me a favor by smashing that like button because it helps the channel to grow and for today's episode we will do a closer look and detailed review of the Nike Dunk Low Barbershop in black colorway. And with all that being said, let's go! The pair that we will unbox today is a Nike Dunk Low which I thought I will never get a chance to review on my channel. Just to share you the story, back in January of this year, 2022, Nike Park Access opened a raffle in getting a chance copying this particular pair. Fortunately, my girlfriend won but the release has been postponed with no specific date. When. Fast forward to this month of April, my girlfriend already or finally received an invoice mail and we already got the pair. Technically, that was four months of waiting. Well, anyway, it is what it is and the retail price of this pair is 110 US dollars or 6,195 in Philippine peso. So let's start the unboxing by looking at the box. Before checking out the box, the Nike Dunk Low Barbershop has two colorways. First is the white gray and the second is the black. And the shoe that we will unbox today is the black colorway. So the pair comes in a typical or regular Nike box in a darker color tone of orange with Nike branding in white at the top and on all sides. And on this side, you have the box label containing the shoe details. And it says here Nike Dunk Low Retro SE and SE stands for Special Edition and the official colorway is Black Copa White Chili Red. So let's open the box. Upon opening the box, it comes with this uh, typical white tissue paper. And here is the shoe. This is the Nike Dunk Low Barbershop Black. First impression, I really love the concept but I'm not a fan or a huge fan of the colorway. I really love how they've put the details together, especially the debris. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. Please uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. I like the razor debris on the laces and also the color of the border of the overlays which is in white, red, and blue. And to dig deeper on its details, Let's take a closer look. This Nike Dunk Low Barbershop features a black tumbled leather upper highlighted with light blue, contrasting accents, and rubber outsole. Additional details include red branded tongues and heels, mismatched lace tips, a clip blade used as the lace debris, and red, blue, and white piping modeled after classic barbershop poles. A graphic hair-like pattern on the heels and a white midsole. Starting at the front panel of the shoe, black tumbled leather for the toe cup or mud guard and toe backs. Perforations on the toe box for breathability. Razor debris on the laces. Black nylon tongue. Black flat default laces. 
black tank tag with Nike branding in red or chili red. Going to the lateral and medial sides, light blue swooshes, Her like patterns on the overlays, black tumbled leather on the quarter or mid panel, red, blue, and white on the uh, border of the overlays, white midsole, and black tumbled leather I stay panel. Going to the back panel of the shoe. Light blue back tab with embroidered Nike branding in chili red. Red and blue stitching on the mid part. And hair like pattern on the bottom part. Looking in the interior part of the shoe, light blue sock liner, and light blue insoles with a Nike branding in chili red. Lastly, a light blue outsoles, the standard outsole of Nike Dunks with a Nike branding at the middle. As far as sizing goes, these are pretty the same with the other Nike Dunk Lows. They fit through to size in my opinion. If you are right-footed, it is safe to go half size up. But of course, if you want to be sure and if there's an opportunity, it is always the best to try them on first before copying. And in terms of comfort, these are not the most comfortable sneakers, but the comfort is pretty decent. If you want to add extra percentage of comfort, you can use replacement insoles which are more comfortable than the default ones. Just like what I said earlier, I really appreciate the concept but not a fan of the colorway. I hope they make the laces in color blue as well just to make a contrast on the black color. Or they include two set of extra laces in blue and red to give us options in lace swapping but overall this is a good shoe but not for me different strokes for different folks and that's how good the nike dunk low barbershop in black colorway let me know your thoughts on this pair do you love this colorway did you cop one or planning to get one anything that you want to share leave a comment below and let me know and if you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when i drop a new video and that's it for this episode always remember cop what you want rock what you love see you on the next one peace god bless hanggang sa muli Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and